नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू यूर चैनल सिंप्लीफाई योर स्पेस आई एम श्योर यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग द ऑनसेट ऑफ द विंटर्स लास्ट वीक आई वॉज ऑक्यूपाइड इन अनपैकिंग एंड अरेंजिंग द हाउस एट प्रेजेंट इट इज क्वाइट फार फ्रॉम द ऑर्गेनाइज वन बट आई हैव मेड इट फंक्शनल इनफ टू स्टार्ट आर रूटीन्स ऑर्गेनाइजिंग रिफाइनमेंट एंड डेकोरेशन विल हैपन इन ड्यू कोर्स ऑफ टाइम थैंक यू ऑल फॉर योर लवली विशेज एंड काइंड ब्लेसिंग स्पोर्ट इन द लास्ट वीडियो I also got a lot of comments requesting to show the changes that we have done in our house. So today's video is exactly about that. In fact, it is a sequel of two videos that we made some time back. Mistakes to avoid while making home and mistakes to avoid while making kitchen. If you haven't watched them yet, do watch them. The links are given in the description box. Now, let's get started. So as you all know, this is the entry of the kitchen. Here we got the wooden framing done for a clear and distinct appearance. The framing is complementing well to the ceiling rafters of the dining room and our white kitchen. The same framing is done on the kitchen window as well which looks amazing. Earlier we were planning the framing with granite which was a time consuming and costly affair. This wooden framing was the alternative idea without changing the window size and grills. In the kitchen we got the backsplash changed. earlier it was plain brown now we have placed marble looking ivory colored 2 by 4 wall tiles it has multicolor stripes with tinge of shine these tiles look gorgeous and have really enhanced the look of the kitchen to add some more beauty and charm we added these under the cabinet led strip lights we also changed the plain switch panels to these beautiful gm white and gray panels In my last video I mentioned that we have upgraded our chimney and hob and this is how they look. I will be making a separate video on this topic soon. Other than this we have got a new kitchen sink shower tap installed. This has a big spout and sprinkler. It extends easily making cleaning of the sink a breeze. This other tap is for drinking water. We have BPR under the sink water purifier installed and from here water comes directly to this separate tap which is very convenient on a day to day basis. As of now a regular UV water purifier at my place is good enough and we don't need RO purifier. If you are also planning to get one do fix vent in the cabinet for air to circulate which prevents mildew and fungus. Other than this we changed the position of a few switches like if you remember earlier switches for microwave and oven were given inside which was so difficult to access and for the fridge also a separate board switch was given on the top now all the switches are accessed easily from one panel given in the front Now let's move to the dining area. It had a showcase panel on the right side which I could never use properly. Upper space was also empty. Now we have a crockery cabinet here with a flute glass door. As of now things are just dumped here. We'll try to make a separate organizing video on crockery cabinet. To utilize the waste upper space we got the loft made here. Here also the window paneling is done the same as the kitchen. And that's all about the dining area. At the entrance of the dining area we have our home temple. Here we have got this beautiful flower shaped acrylic ceiling panel installed which looks gorgeous and soothing after switching on the light. I also got LED strip lights fixed here on the edges of the back wall. which look beautifully aligned and enhance the beauty of the temple now i don't need to fix string lights during festivals this is more than enough this is our common hand washing area which used to look like this there was a plain painted wall behind which used to get stained frequently due to splashes of water now we got the backsplash installed which is easy to clean and we use the same kitchen tile here We also changed the tap. Got this beautiful golden tap and towel holder from Amazon. 
the old antique tap is relocated in the main bathroom. Our bathrooms were one of the main reasons for this renovation. Despite continuous care and cleaning, the builder provided tiles and equipment had deteriorated to unacceptable levels. And when no amount of sealants and repair helped, we decided to fix them from scratch. Bathrooms now have new tiles on the floor and walls, beautiful cabinets and storage. Some fitments are recycled and some are new. I shall make a dedicated video sometime later. Other than bathrooms, my utility is the second most revamped area at my home. Earlier, we just had a provision of washing machines in the utility area. And then we all got engulfed in COVID. And I needed help of machines to run my routines. Dishwasher was randomly installed in one corner of the utility room and dryer was kept in the balcony. I am so happy that my machines who have helped me so much have their own dedicated homes. Vacuum and dry cleaning tools have their space too in this cabinet. We have reshuffled cabinets and their laminate color for better visual appeal. Utility sink has been upgraded along with a new efficient and functional water tap. There is also a food crusher installed at the bottom of the sink to crush the waste food and prevent clogging. My love for drawers is not hidden. During our stay here, I did feel they were missing in a few places, so now they are rightly installed. Like on the study desk in the guest room, desk in master bedroom and desk in my office room. In fact, my husband's closet's lower shelves are now all drawers. They are easy to access, arrange and manage on a day-to-day -day basis. This Dipavli, I gifted myself a new mirrorless Sony DSLR camera so that I can upgrade the video quality. A 10 minutes video in 4K can go up to 10 GB or more in size. This means I am always in need of high speed data transfer and the internet. While Wi Fi is great for mobile devices, if the working disk is fixed, LAN so far is superior in terms of speed and reliability. We installed CAT6 cable to all the working desks and to TV and camera units. You can see there is a remarkable upgrade in speed now. TV streams are so smooth and buffer free. Entrance doors have been revamped. Borders are added for the improvement in looks and smart lock is added for the ease of access. Living room TV unit and cabinet have been reworked for easy accessibility to switches and wires. There are two shelves in the cabinet unit, one for the electronics and the second one for usual storage. Fluid glass provided control visibility and complete remote functions for electronics. I have added a cabinet on the right side of the TV unit for decoration and storage of various miscellaneous items. Just an additional point for TV, these extendable wall mounts are so convenient and space saver. Headboard of master bedroom's bed got stained and lost its shine over a period of time, so we got it changed. This time we opted for dark brown which complements the wing chair and wooden flooring. There are also some cosmetic upgrades like wooden flooring in all the bedrooms. They are helpful in cold temperatures. But yes, with them there is an additional responsibility of taking care of them well. 
So those were the changes that were done in recent renovation. And that's all in this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and share this video with your family and friends. Do subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all the latest updates and video notifications. We'll see you all next week. Happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.